Okay, good day everyone. Here's an issue on my 98 Dodge Ram. It's kind of got me miffed. I'll show you what's going on. This is a true ghost in my truck. Okay, so here she is. And uh, I got my keys here. Keys in the ignition. Okay, no start. Now watch this. Put my foot right here on the door jam. And it starts up! Now go figure that. I'll sit in the seat. It'll start. Get out of the truck. No start. Put some weight on the door jam once again with my knee. And she starts! So I'd say we got a shorted wire somewhere. That must be rubbing on the frame. Somewhere from the ignition to the starter to the solenoid. So I'll look at that and I'll be back. So now as we go along with the problem, well, the truck won't start, so I've taken the fuse box apart, and my suspicion is this relay right here. So what I have done is I've I've pulled this off from there, which goes to that relay. So now I go all the way over here to the ignition. I'll turn the ignition on right there, you know. Take this wire. Truck started. So now I'm moving right along. Now that we figured out, I gotta bypass the the relay. Whether it's the relay. Or this whole box has got a problem and I have to replace this whole box. I guess I'll go down to the local uh, parts store and see if I can get that relay to fix this problem. Until so then I'll have to start it this way, but it's still charging and everything at this moment, so it hasn't hurt that. I've, I've just bypassed the impulse to turn the starter over. That's all I've done. So... Anyways, off to the parts store and hopefully that's the problem and I don't have to replace this whole box because that might cost quite a bit of money. I'm going to have to go to the record and see if I can pluck one if I can find it. Anyways, off to the parts store we go. Well, went to the parts store. Brand new relays. But, it's not the problem. So, I guess I'll take a wire off my battery. And I'll take the wire from here and I'll bring it up through the firewall into the cab of the truck and I'll put a push button on the dash. So turn the ignition on and push the button and she will start. It works. But this to rewire this and put this in, well, another day. It's a big freaking job. Anyways. So here we go, is what we did. Instead of replace this stupid looking thing, I uh, rewired her and brought the wires through. So now I turn my key on here. And there we go, truck runs. There you go, happy redneck to ya. Over and out.